Violence in Minneapolis has been on the rise for more than a year. Police, city leaders and community activists have told us over and over most of it involves guns and teens. In a passionate debate last week, the Minneapolis Park Board decided to spend part of its $1.7 million budget surplus on outreach programs aimed at keeping kids busy and out of trouble. As Jay Coles explains, one park board commissioner made an emotional plea to spend the money, saying the north side is in crisis and the money is needed to keep more kids from dying. The move to eliminate fees and make the North Commons water park free couldn't come at a hotter time than the start of this summer season. And families already soaking up the chance to use it. Enjoying our family time at the end of the day. You know, you can't ask for a better place and a better time, you know, just to see your kids smiling for free, basically. Hi. Some didn't even know they were about to get a bonus just for showing up. Really, then we get up to the front and they say it's free. So what more can you ask for? This place is awesome. It's a beautiful day. It's a great park. The slide is fun. I'm going to do But it was a passionate push to get there. We are in America. We are in crisis, and I don't think this board is taking it seriously. Park Board Commissioner Londell French proposed waiving the water park fees and spending an additional $300,000 for youth programs. <laughs> One is called Street Reach, which provides summer programs for kids, giving them positive mentorship and activities designed to steer them away from trouble. The other is Teen Teamworks, which provides dozens of summer jobs throughout the park system. Both are citywide programs. Let's stop playing games with lives, all right? Let's have the money available to folks. Yeah, those folks don't usually look like the people that usually get money, but we can change that. We can create access that we haven't created in the past. You guys are quick coming up with 10,000 reasons why not to do the right thing. It's this board's job to, to push policy that helps everybody. Not just the folks who live around Lake Calhoun or Lake Bedema Goscow or Lake Harry, everybody. <laughs> Park Board Commissioner Stephanie Musich questioned whether this process of spending the budget surplus money followed board procedures. Seems like some commissioners get to decide how we're going to spend money without discussing it with their colleagues whether or not we should be prioritizing these things first. Commissioner French took exception to that. We did all we could to not have resources for kids who look like me. And they don't want to sit here and talk about uh, we can't spend this money right now. This is this is inappropriate. Spend the money. French told the board there was no more time for debate. Yeah, people out here dying, babies drowning. Three hundred thousand dollars in the grand scheme of things is nothing. Thirty-eight thousand dollars to have let kids go swimming in our in our in our pool is nothing. This is why our country is where it's at right now because the money goes to the people who already got money. Stop it right now. And Park Board Commissioner Kale Severson supported French. Thank you for trying to get money spent in North Minneapolis to address these issues, because we literally have babies dying. Uh, it really sucks that people want to make this political as uh, opposed to finding solutions uh, so we don't have children dying in our communities. Now, the last month and a half has been especially traumatic in North Minneapolis. Three young children became the unintended victims of gunfire. Two of them died, and another 12-year-old boy drowned in that North Commons water park. The park board is also looking at other possibilities of cutting costs at their parks and pools to make things more affordable for families. They would do those cuts basically through spending more of that surplus money, Kev. Yeah, those two programs you mentioned, uh, Street mm -hmm. Reach and Teen Teamwork, so it was mm -hmm. new. Uh, they're not actually, they've been funded in the past, Kevin, but this surplus money the board is spending will help grow both programs this summer and if there are kids and families interested, they're encouraged to go to the Park Board website for information or you can call the Park Board directly. But that's mm -hmm. extra money into both of those programs that have already been funded at their mm -hmm. base amount. So they're kicking in extra dollars now that they become available. Uh, good thing happening in North Minneapolis. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Jay. Yep.